Oswald Mosley and the Legacy of British Fascism, Lessons in Countering Extremism. Oswald Mosley was a significant figure in the history of British fascism. He founded the British Union of Fascists, BUF, in 1932, having previously been a member of parliament for both the Conservative and Labour parties. Disillusioned with traditional party politics, Mosley was influenced by the fascist movements that were gaining momentum in Europe, particularly in Italy under Benito Mussolini. The BUF promoted authoritarian and nationalist policies, advocating for a strong central government and opposing both communism and democracy, which they considered inefficient and weak. The movement also embraced anti-Semitic rhetoric, which led to widespread public and political backlash. Mosley's attempt to establish a fascist regime in Britain faced significant opposition. The most notable event was the Battle of Cable Street in 1936, when thousands of anti-fascist protesters, including local Jewish, socialist, anarchist, and communist groups, clashed with the BUF and police in East London, ultimately preventing the fascists from marching through a predominantly Jewish area. World War II marked a major turning point as Mosley's pro-German stance and the BUF's alignment with Nazi Germany made them a target for government action. In 1940, Mosley and many of his followers were interned under Defense Regulation 18b, which allowed for detention without trial of those suspected of being a threat to national security. After the war, Mosley continued to be involved in politics Post-war, Oswald Mosley attempted to revive his political career and the fascist movement in Britain through various organizations, including the Union Movement, which he founded in 1948. The Union Movement aimed to promote European unity, but it also retained core fascist ideologies, such as strong authoritarian leadership and anti-immigration stances, although less emphasis was placed on overt anti-Semitism compared to the pre-war period. Mosley's post-war political efforts, however, never gained much traction. The memory of fascism's role in the devastation of World War II, combined with Mosley's previous associations and ideologies, alienated much of the British public. His activities often sparked protests and were met with strong opposition from anti-fascist groups. Mosley moved to France in the 1950s, where he lived for much of the rest of his life, continuing to write and promote his ideas through books and articles. He made occasional attempts to influence British politics, including standing in elections, but these were largely unsuccessful. The British Union of Fascists under Mosley's leadership and its subsequent incarnations left a lasting impact on the political landscape of Britain. They contributed to discussions on the limits of free speech, the management of political extremism, and the post-war consensus against totalitarian ideologies. Mo Despite his marginalization in British politics, Oswald Mosley's ideas continued to influence certain far-right groups in the UK and beyond. His rhetoric and the imagery of the British Union of Fascists occasionally resurface in contemporary far-right movements, highlighting the persistence of fascist ideologies under different guises. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in Mosley, partly due to his portrayal in popular media, such as television series that depict historical events. These portrayals often spark renewed discussions about his political legacy and the nature of fascism. It's important to note, however, that these depictions can sometimes romanticize or oversimplify his impact and the dangerous ideologies he espoused. Mosley's approach to fascism was uniquely tailored to Britain's context, emphasizing nationalism and the creation of a corporatist state. He proposed radical changes to the economic and political systems, which he argued would eliminate the inefficiencies of democracy and capitalism. Despite these proposals, his movement was fundamentally anti-democratic and oppressive, aligned with the broader fascist movements of the era. 
which sought to consolidate power by suppressing opposition and promoting totalitarian regimes. The legacy of Oswald Mosley serves as a reminder of the need for vigilance against the resurgence of fascist ideologies. It also underscores the importance of historical memory in educating new generations about the dangers of totalitarianism and the value of democratic governance. As societies continue to grapple with political The historical examination of Oswald Mosley and the British Union of Fascists also prompts a broader reflection on how societies deal with the legacies of contentious figures. In the context of Mosley, this involves balancing the recognition of his political influence with an understanding of the destructive consequences of his ideologies. The debate over how to remember figures like Mosley involves complex questions about commemoration, education, and public discourse. For instance, how should historians and educators handle the portrayal of such figures? What is the role of public monuments, history textbooks, and media in shaping collective memory? These questions are particularly relevant in times of political polarization, where historical figures can be appropriated for various agendas. Moreover, the story of Mosley and his followers illustrates the dynamics of radicalization and the conditions under which extremist ideologies can gain a foothold. Economic turmoil, social unrest, and political disillusionment were significant factors in the 1930s that contributed to the appeal of Mosley's message. Understanding these factors is crucial in preventing the recurrence of similar movements today. Preventing the rise of similar movements requires ongoing education about the history of political extremism, the implementation of policies that address underlying social and economic grievances, and the promotion of inclusive, democratic values. It also involves active engagement in democratic processes and the strengthening of institutions that protect against the erosion of civil liberties. In sum, Oswald Mosley's life and political activities offer important lessons on the dangers of fascism and the continuous need for vigilance in safeguarding democratic societies from similar threats. His legacy This ongoing discourse around figures like Oswald Mosley also involves a critical evaluation of how societies can effectively respond to and counter extremist ideologies in the long term. Analyzing Mosley's ability to initially attract followers despite the extreme nature of his beliefs highlights the importance of addressing not just the ideological surface but the underlying currents that propel such movements. Engagement with Mosley's historical impact also emphasizes the role of media literacy in a modern context. As societies contend with a rapidly evolving information landscape, the ability to critically analyze and understand various media representations is crucial. This includes recognizing how historical figures and ideologies are portrayed, which can influence public perceptions and potentially the resurgence of extremist ideologies. Additionally, Mosley's case exemplifies the challenge of radical ideologies in democratic settings, where freedom of speech must be balanced with the need to protect the public from hate speech and incitement to violence. This balance is delicate and often contentious, involving legal and ethical considerations that vary widely across different societies. Effective responses to such challenges include Educational initiatives asterisk enhancing curriculums to include comprehensive studies on the history of political extremism, the consequences of totalitarianism, and the value of democratic institutions. Community engagement asterisk building stronger community ties through inclusive programs that promote understanding across different social and cultural groups, thereby undermining the divisive messages promoted by extremist ideologies. Policy and legal frameworks asterisk developing robust legal mechanisms to prevent the spread of hate speech and incitement while respecting fundamental human rights.
The enduring relevance of Oswald Mosley's legacy in contemporary political discourse serves as a reminder that the fight against extremism is not static but requires continuous effort and adaptation. By learning from history, societies can better equip themselves to recognize early warning signs The exploration of Oswald Mosley's legacy also highlights the importance of collective memory in shaping a society's response to political extremism. Collective memory is not just about remembering historical facts. It's about interpreting those facts and using them to inform current policies and public attitudes. Historical documentation and archives. Ensuring access to comprehensive archives and historical accounts of Mosley's activities and the broader context of British fascism helps researchers and the public understand the complexity of his influence. Museums, documentaries, and academic studies play crucial roles in this effort, providing nuanced perspectives that challenge oversimplified narratives. Public dialogue. Open and informed dialogue about contentious historical figures like Mosley can help demystify their appeal and dissect the ideologies they propagated. Such dialogues can take place in public forums, debates, and through media channels, fostering a more informed and critically engaged citizenry. International cooperation. Since the rise of fascism was not limited to Britain, understanding Mosley's impact also involves looking at international trends and cooperation. Learning from global experiences and responses to fascism can guide effective strategies and foster a unified approach to combating similar threats today. Artistic interpretation. Art and literature provide powerful avenues for exploring and interpreting the impacts of historical figures like Mosley. Through films, literature, and visual arts, artists can offer insightful critiques and reflections on the nature of fascism its appeal, and its devastation. These interpretations can make historical lessons more accessible and emotionally resonant for broader audiences. Ultimately, dealing with the legacy of Oswald Mosley is about more than recounting historical events. It involves actively using that history to educate, to warn, and to inspire vigilance against the ever-present threats of authoritarianism and intolerance. By integrating lessons from the past into the fabric of modern democratic societies, we can help ensure that the ideologies represented by figures like Mosley are recognized. The ongoing discussion about Oswald Mosley and his legacy also opens up a broader dialogue about the role of historical memory in shaping future generations' understanding of political extremism. This underscores the responsibility of educators, historians, policymakers, and media professionals in framing these discussions to ensure that they are both informative and preventive. Critical Pedagogy Education systems have a crucial role in implementing pedagogies that encourage critical thinking about history and politics. This involves not just learning about historical facts, but developing the ability to question and analyze those facts critically. Courses and workshops that focus on the analysis of political ideologies, the mechanics of propaganda, and the importance of civic engagement can empower students to better understand and counter extremist narratives. Media responsibility. The media plays a significant role in how historical figures and ideologies are perceived. Responsible journalism involves providing context and depth in reporting, avoiding sensationalism that might inadvertently glorify negative figures or movements. This is especially important in an era where digital media can spread misinformation rapidly. Policy impact. Policymakers can learn from the rise and activities of figures like Mosley by implementing policies that foster social cohesion and economic stability, thereby addressing some of the root causes that make societies susceptible to extremist ideologies. This includes policies that promote social equity, 
educational opportunities, and economic fairness. Commemorative practices. How societies choose to remember controversial figures is also significant. This might involve debates over the appropriateness of statues, the naming of public spaces, or the conduct of remembrance ceremonies. These decisions influence public memory and attitudes, making it important to approach them with a sensitivity to historical impacts and contemporary values. Engaging diverse perspectives. Including diverse perspectives in discussions about history ensures a more complete understanding of the past. This can involve highlighting voices that were historically marginalized or silenced, providing a fuller picture of the impact of figures like Mosley on different communities. By engaging with Mosley's legacy in these comprehensive ways, societies can better understand the conditions under which extremism flourishes and develop more. Such engagements with the legacy of figures like Oswald Mosley also raise important ethical and moral questions about how societies reconcile with their pasts. This reconciliation process is essential not only for historical understanding but also for shaping a society's collective identity and its values moving forward. Ethical Considerations The ethical dimensions of remembering and studying controversial figures like Mosley involve balancing the need to acknowledge historical realities with the imperative to condemn and learn from the moral failures represented by such figures. It is crucial to approach this with a mindset that seeks to educate and warn rather than to sensationalize or stigmatize. Reconciliation and healing. For communities particularly affected by the ideologies and actions of figures like Mosley, there's a need for processes that allow for healing and reconciliation. This could include public acknowledgments of past harms, discussions facilitated between different community groups, and initiatives that aim to restore justice where possible. Legacy in Public Consciousness How Mosley's legacy is integrated into the public consciousness impacts how future threats similar to his own are recognized and countered. Public education campaigns Museum exhibits and public discussions can help ensure that the lessons learned are not forgotten and are applied to contemporary challenges. Digital Era Challenges In the digital era, where information and misinformation spreads rapidly, the challenge becomes how to effectively communicate the lessons of history to a broad audience while combating the spread of extremist ideologies online. Digital literacy initiatives become crucial in this context helping users discern reliable from unreliable information and understand the historical contexts of the ideologies they encounter. Future Generations Engagement Ensuring that future generations remain engaged with the history of political extremism requires innovative approaches to education and public engagement. This might involve using new technologies, interactive experiences, or social media platforms to reach younger audiences where they are most active. Through these multifaceted approaches, societies can better manage the legacies of figures like Oswald Mosley. By doing so, they not only preserve the lessons of history, In conclusion, the examination of Oswald Mosley's life and the legacy of the British Union of Fascists provides critical insights into the nature and consequences of political extremism. Mosley's rise and eventual marginalization offer a compelling case study of how fascist ideologies can emerge and be countered within a democratic society. Understanding his influence helps highlight the necessary vigilance and proactive measures required to protect democratic values and institutions. The legacy of such a figure also underscores the importance of a multifaceted approach to historical memory and education. By engaging critically with the past, employing responsible media practices, fostering inclusive dialogue, 
and implementing effective policies, societies can better resist the allure of authoritarianism. Moreover, the ethical considerations surrounding the commemoration and teaching of controversial figures, like Mosley emphasize the need for a balanced approach that educates and informs without glorifying negative pasts. Ultimately, the story of Oswald Mosley is not just a historical footnote but a lasting reminder of the dangers posed by extremism. It teaches us the value of remaining informed, engaged, and proactive in upholding the principles of democracy and inclusivity. As we face contemporary challenges, the lessons drawn from Mosley's era are more relevant than ever, serving as both a warning and a guide for future generations committed to safeguarding democratic integrity against all forms of authoritarian threat.